I just found mold in my garbage. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today to be showing you kind of like a collective haul of all the books I've been collecting. And like, I just a lot of repetition. Um, just a bunch of books that I've been holding on to that I've got from my birthday that I've thrifted that i've bought um as well as target buy one get one half off sale so and i that was like earlier in october as well so like a lot of books i've been holding on to this month that i'm just like really excited to show you gonna keep the intro short and just get into it so i don't really have like um an order i want to go into but Look at it, it's so colorful. So I think I might just kind of go the pile that I already have, which I think is semi-organized anyway. I just want to get into it. I went to my local indie bookstore and I was like shopping around and I saw this whole series. And I remember one of my like book Instagram friends like really loving Intercepted. And I was like, oh, that sounds like, the cover is like really pretty in itself, but it sounded really cool because I feel like I don't read that much sports romance, but I feel like I like sports romance, the ones that I do read. So I'm surprised that I don't read more of it, which is interesting. So Intercepted is about Marley and Gavin. So Marley Harper is like the perfect girlfriend and she has dated like NFL boyfriends or NFL like players in the back, um, in the past, not the back. Um, and I think like there was a lot of drama that happened and so she vowed to never date one again until she met Gavin Pope, who is a hot shot, hot shot quarterback and a fling from the past and they like i guess hit it off really well they end up having like a romance a relationship but she realized that she has to deal with a lot more than just gavin and she has to deal with like the other team's wives and like drama and things like that and she suddenly becomes a public enemy their relationship is going like through the test basically and i just realized in the back helen huang has a quote in here and I love Helen Huang. I have every single book she has written. You can't see it because it's on the top shelf, but I love her so much. So if she says it's good, sold. So that's that. And then I got Fumbled, which is also a really cute cover. I love the green and the pink contrast. And then this one is a little bit like more torn up but i don't know i'm like okay with it because i kind of liked liked i kind of like when books have that like use look i feel like it just means it's been loved but this one is i remember reading this like the first sentence and i was like sold it was, it's about a single mother it's poppy and she finds out that she was like 16 and pregnant with i believe her boyfriend at that time it was like tk moore and he ends up like they, i think they break up or something but he ends up in like the nfl and like they cross path later in life when he's like a big nfl star and he realized like he's actually a dad um and so it's like him navigating like oh my god i'm a dad and like i wasn't involved um and she's navigating like oh like my kid has a dad again or something like that i might be wrong tk might not be the dad here's the back you tell me <laughs> okay looking at my stack i think the next four books are birthday gifts so i don't know where they're set i don't know where they're from but i believe you can get them on amazon and i believe all four of these are self-published um, because they don't say a publisher, like the last book was Berkeley, but these next four books are self-published and I'm really excited for them. They're like really popular on a certain side of book talk, so I'm like really excited to get into them. Yeah, 
so this is what um i don't know if you can see it what a match by mimi grace i'm so excited for this one this is a gift from my older sister look at the cover it is so cute um even the back has like really cute details but this one is about gwen and anthony and i think anthony is gwen's older brother's best friend and then like something had happened to like anthony's apartment where he had to move into gwen's apartment and the rest is history i'm very excited for this it's just so stinking cute i can't wait to read it <laughs> and then next is two books by bk borison one is by my best friend one is gifted by my best friend and one was gifted by my older sister and her boyfriend so this one was gifted by my best friend and this was by her older sis my older sister and her boyfriend so look at that it's so stinking cute so this is in the weeds and this is mixed signals and this is a part of the love flight farm series i believe but a lot of the series i read are like interconnected standalone so like they're a series but you can definitely read them like whatever you want in the weeds is about um it's a second chance and second chance romance and it features like a grumpy farmer and a social media influencer and i don't know why it kind of reminded me of it happened one summer so second chance romance with a grumpy farmer um and a social media influence star and i think like she ends up in his farm for like some kind of contest and they meet there and i think it's like the rest is history but he's definitely grumpy at first um and then this one mixed signals is about i think a baker and i don't know what his occupation is but he saves her from a bad date and then he proposes that they start fake dating for some reason um and kind of like the rest is history so i feel like very cute tropey vibes but i feel like it's gonna work because everyone loves it so I'm really excited for these but they're so cute like how can they not not be good so down the list this is another gift this is from my older sister as well and her boyfriend but this is icebreaker also on my list but like look at the cover um so stinking cute and everyone has been talking about this book on my like for you page so I'm so excited to read this. I think this is gonna be my next read because everyone, no one will shut up about it and I need to know because I'm getting FOMO, but we don't know because I'm a mood reader and I could go brrr, so who really knows? Um, but this is Icebreaker. This is about Anastasia and Nathan and this is like a sports romance of a figure skater and a hockey player and I believe he's captain of the hockey team. Is this hockey? Dude, why did I just forget? Yes, this is hockey. <laughs> they are both like athletes, of course, on ice. And I guess like the starting of how they meet is like a miscommunication or a misunderstanding where they are like both booked for the ice rink. And so she's like, my team is here. And he's like, no, my team is here. And then it's like, okay, who gets it like who is practicing or who's playing and so that's how they meet and kind of like the rest is history i've only seen like good reviews and like nathan is like the golden retriever boyfriend like the best book boyfriend except for like one bad review where someone said like there's like five plot lines in one book but i don't think i'm gonna mind <sighs> look at that and then here's a sneak peek and that's all you get. So we're getting towards the end of the haul. I have two books left and they're from the same place. This was part of my Target BOGO, like buy one, get one 50% off. And I also got an extra like 15% off for some reason. So it was buy one, get one 50% off plus 15% off. So I got like a banging deal. Of course, 
I pre-ordered It Starts With Us. I am gonna be honest, when I first started reading back in high school, I read a lot of Colleen Hoover. So I read like everything I could get my hands on. When I read again back in my senior year of college, I read two more of her books and then that was kind of like it. I thought it would be interesting to learn more about Alice and Lily's story. Um, and I am excited to read it. I think I might do a reading vlog. I think that will make it like very exciting. And then with my BOGO, I got The Predator, which this book is like pretty big. Um, like this is your average size book. And then this is like The Predator, which I think this is self-published, but I can't be sure because there's no publisher, but it's by Runny X. And I don't know too much about this book, except I've been seeing a lot more of it on Book Talk and Bookstagram. So I decided to pick up book one and it's the Dark Verse series. And it's about Tristan Kane. Um, and it's like dark romance mafia vibes, I believe. You can see my eyes. <gasps> Oh, I think it's about Tristan Kane, who's like in the mafia and then Morana who is like really good who is like with the rival family of the mafia um, and is like really good with computers and she hacks and she has like the intent of killing him um, and that's how they meet I believe is what I got from the back but I'm really excited for this I feel like I've been looking really hard for a book to like turn off my brain and read so I feel like this is a good one, but I don't know because I haven't read a mafia book and I don't know how I feel about them, but I'm excited, I guess, to say the least. <laughs> Thanks y'all for watching this video. I'm so excited to get into these books. I don't know what to read next. I need to finish my current read and so much more. Check out my other socials in the description and yeah, catch you guys on the flip side.